YouTube, VP Shooting Academy here, and today I'm just making a quick video, showing to be a couple minutes long, to keep you up to date on the channel and where it's going, plus a few things going around Washington that I think are important to inform you all on, so please stick around to the end because it could impact anyone buying a gun. First off, to all those who have already joined the VP Shooting family, thank you very much on helping us grow. If you'd like to join, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Second thing, videos may be a bit further apart due to family, work, and other projects I'm working on right now. But I hope to do at least one video every other week. And as we move forward, we will also be introducing the new main segment of the channel, which is VP Training, where we'll be going hands-on with firearms, with tips and tricks on everything from grip and stance to shooting on the move and target transitioning. The training tips will help everyone from new to experienced and will not only be geared towards competitive shooting, but also beginners, self-defense, and just those out there that have fun on the range because after all, that's what it's all about. Third, I'll be posting some videos time to time on important topics regarding gun control and other legislative matters as they come up. But there are many other channels out there that have the opportunity to update you on them sooner and I highly recommend you go check them out as well. If you'd like to have the direct source to those videos, feel free to check out the new VP Shooting Academy Facebook page. There I will be keeping it up to date with important videos from other content creators and other important posts regarding anything shooting related. Which then all ties into my last topic. That being, Congress has yet another bill being ran through it in which it can allow government to basically hold up the background check process forever and gives the Attorney General power to impose even stronger restrictions if he sees fit moving forward without Congress having any say in it. And we all know how competent he is at his job. In the description below and the VP Facebook page, I'll leave a link to some good videos on HR 1446 and to the NRA where you can contact your representative, let them know that you aren't for them taking rights away from legal law abiding citizens. So thanks again for watching. Till next time, if clear, hammer down and holster.